Good day everyone, today we're going to check out this plate wizard setup, go through, set up the parameters, set up the work piece that we're working on, set up the probe that we're using, and a DAC curve ready to go do inspections. Let's run through that now. We're just setting up the basic profile. The probe profile works through a, a dual crystal probe here as one of the setups, but in the basic mode it's um, single crystal probe like we have here. Okay, so it's going to ask us details about the materials, setting up the velocities, it'll give it all standard um, presets, but it also will be then calibrating it as well. So we know this is 38 mil, so this is on a fine adjustment. We can adjust it, so it changes from um, up to a hyphen, and now we can do a coarse adjustment. We've shot past, right past the material, but we can go and fine adjustment and go backwards now. 238.2 millimeters. Great, that's done now. We can change, adjust the velocity if we want to. It's a normal probe. And the frequency range that we're running with is 4 meg. There we go. Next. And calibrate the probe delay. We're obviously working off the first back wall echo, the second back wall echo, just roughly working with 30 dB at the moment. The range will sit a little bit further because we'll only have the first, we'll do a course adjustment. So we've got the first back wall echo and the second back wall echo. So we're working with that there, that's a little bit better. We obviously can go a little bit further and we can Take a little bit further, but that's fine. So we've got the... So it's asking us, please record echo for the reference. First reference, it's already guessing an indication. It's showing us the peak. Um, gain, it's already achieved. We've got F2 set up here as auto 80. So if we punch that up, hit that button F2, it's going to bring the signal that's running through the gate to 80. 80% of the screen height and from here we can press record that's done it's given us the velocity it's given us our probe delay and from here we can either reset it to clear the information um, or input some more data that's done so we'll just continue to next we're going to ask us to make a DAC curve now just following the uh, simple on screen information obviously setting the it's setting the range to 150 starting the gate at 13 millimeters it's making the deck or AVG curves we'll start with the deck and we will record the first one through this particular gate so that's the first one created the second one we'll just move the gates over a little bit until the logic of the unit picks it up. See, it's picked it up there, that little dot. So that's done. So we'll jump off the gate, out of the gate information, and we'll record two. And then we'll jump into the gates. We'll move it over. The logic has picked it up because we've moved the gate over far enough. You might consider it a little bit low, but if we put do order 80, and it's it again beautiful it's, it's moved it there and then now we can still there's the next curve and we can now jump in and capture that or we we can capture that gate and record the fourth point or we can make that 80 percent screen height as well in this scenario because the logic has already captured the highest echo there coming through the gate it's already talking to it and Okay, now that the DAC curve is has been made, let me just bring this down a little bit so we can see it a bit better. All right, so now that we've got three lines created here, plus, so zero plus six and then minus six there, we've got it set up at three. We can add additional lines, the curve lines. Oops, we can um, scroll down here. And we can add more or take away and then we can individually adjust them the db 
take adding or taking away there on each individual line. Because it's not necessary in this setup. We can then scroll down and finish. Then exit. It'll ask us to save the parameters, yes or no. So yes or no. By hitting those buttons, that's a yes button. That's the no button. So once we've hit yes, it'll process the information. It'll ask you to update a file name and sit in here. It's pretty simple. If we want capitals on, we can hit that. Changes the keyboard. So we can go through, update the details. Otherwise, we can just go OK. And then it goes from the file name. Any more comments or remarks that you're looking to do, you can put that in there. And this will save that file type. It's done. It's processed. You're back in. And you are now ready to scan. Four holes here, 29 millimeters, 13 millimeters, and we can see exit there. We can bring across the gates, bring it up there, and look at the information that's telling us this is coming through the gate, back wall, and each of those side drill holes. Just the width of the gate. And auto AD on those signals. Beautiful. Perfect. There's the side drill holes. Just been talking about. See you around.